Hello everyone, this is Bender Beerman, and today I borrowed a friend of mine's one wheel and we're gonna be playing with it. Now, I've actually done this video twice now. Whoops. Uh, yeah, I took a bunch of footage the other day and I had my camera kind of screwing, so I'm actually redoing it. So this isn't the first ride, but you'll get to see footage of the first ride, so it'll just be sped up really fast. So this is a one wheel pint that a friend of mine lent me to play around with. Um, it's so far a lot of fun. Kind of hard on the feet um, and turning is a little wonky, but I haven't fallen yet, which is good, but it's always important to wear the proper, uh, you know, safety equipment. I actually kind of wish that I had uh, knee pads and elbow pads and wrist guards and all that. Because, you know, fat man on a one wheel. So this is the video. I am also super sorry it's been a long time since I've actually filmed. I realize that it's uh, almost two months. You know, life happens, trying to do everything doesn't always work. So uh, unfortunately my videos kind of took a back, back seat for the moment, but here we are again. Um, hopefully I'll be doing a lot more videos and having a lot more fun. So I uh, am playing on a one wheel. Ugh. Oops. <laughs> All right. So, as you can tell, I'm not terrible. It's weird, like, I'm actually pretty good at it. I'm a little surprised by this, so, you know, hey. The other thing I wanted to tell you guys is I don't skateboard. I don't surf. I don't snowboard, I don't even ski. So this is basically a whole new experience for me all together. So I'm gonna play around and uh, hopefully you guys watch and have a lot of fun. If you guys could hit that like and subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thanks guys. Here we go. So this is a whole lot of fun. I know you guys can hear me. Hopefully you can still see me. Um, it does get a little squirrely the faster you go, which is a little weird. Um, turning isn't bad. I find it's a lot easier to turn left than it is right. It makes me feel like I'm in NASCAR, uh, but you know, as you can tell, I'm on a basketball court, so uh, I got a little bit of open space. So now let's uh, see if we can uh, turn right. Again, <clears throat> faster speeds, it does get a little wobbly. Riding isn't too bad, though. I find that it's actually kind of hard on the feet. I don't know if I'm using different muscles in my feet that I'm used to for balance, but <clears throat> also on my first uh, couple times, like I had no idea if I was supposed to go right foot forward or left foot forward. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> I think I'm doing it right with uh, right foot or left foot forward now. Um, It is a lot of fun. It's a very expensive toy, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know, my buddy's selling this one. I would love to buy it, but I don't know how much I would actually use it because it, it's just a toy. Like I could write it down to the grocery store or something, but then I'm carrying back a bunch of stuff on it, which is, uh, you know, it could be dangerous, it could be a pain. I can totally see if I lived someplace where like having a car was not useful, like was a hindrance. I could totally see riding this like, around, taking it downtown or something like that to get to places. But then again, you're walking around with a, uh, you know, one wheel. So 
it would be kind of a pain to like carry it with you wherever you were going. So you could ride it places, but then you'd have to figure out how to lock it up. Also, the you know the range is pretty good. I think I think it's like 15 miles or something on this one. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. I haven't I haven't actually looked it up too much. So like you could get a certain amount of range anxiety if you're going like a long way. Yeah, tight cornering is kind of a pain. It's all how you lean and it does get a little squirrely. I don't think tight cornering while you're uh, going fast would be particularly that safe. Our local security guards are over there, so uh, I'm curious if they're gonna come over and tell me that I can't do this because technically it's a motorized vehicle and I'm on a public basketball court, but as you can see, no one else is here. When I first got on it to ride it, I tried it on the grass, which you'll see a little bit of footage of. Unfortunately, it kind of screwed up. Um, but when I was on the grass, I did find that it was actually pretty difficult to get going. Um, and it was very like, uh, I didn't fall over, but I was, you know, out of my mind, uh, falling over on grass softer than falling over on asphalt. I didn't end up falling over, but because of the bouncy, like the rough terrain, it was a lot more difficult to start and get going and, you know, stay on there. So I then came down here and tried it down here and found it remarkably easier. So if this is your first time riding one, try it on the concrete first. <laughs> It's not bad. It really isn't. It's a lot of fun. I mean, I've probably ridden under a mile at this point, maybe a mile, given that I've, uh, I rode it Friday afternoon, then I did one quick loop yesterday, and then what you've seen today. This, that's, my, that's, the, that's the amount that I have ridden this. It is a little interesting getting it started and coming to a stop is a little weird also I'm still not entirely certain how to put my feet on it I think it would help if I had skateboarded a bunch but since I haven't <laughs> it's kind of a kind of a thing and I keep trying to readjust my feet but the grips on it are actually really good so it's kind of hard. There are a couple sensors on here so if I take my foot off it will come to a stop. I haven't figured out how to do that yet maybe because I'm still scared to, take <laughs> to lift my heel or anything like that and as you can see it gets going pretty pretty quick I think I think uh, top speeds 15 miles an hour, uh, 15 miles an hour which I don't think I've gotten close to yet and it's all how you lean like you lean forward for it to go faster you lean back for it to slow down and you lean left and right for it to turn if you guys see me holding something it's actually the camera or the remote to my camera to be able to turn it off and on. It's all about the feedback on here that your body gives it to tell it which direction to go and how fast to go. I would definitely not feel super comfortable riding this on the road or sidewalk too much, especially in a busy area. But like I said, it's, it's, it gets a little squirrely the faster you go especially when you're trying to you know when you have cars and stuff going around you like it would be i don't know it would be a little uh be a little scary out here on this uh 
<laughs> basketball court where no one is or anything like that. It's not too bad. Now, I wish I would've brought some cones out and tried to do like a slalom. Ooh. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> like I said, it is a lot of fun, but it is a toy. I could totally see if you live in a, you know, a big city, having one to get from the store or home or to work or home, if walking is really just a bit too far. But around here, I don't know how useful it would be. All right, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right, guys, now you're gonna try to get a point of view of me riding this thing. That's right. Are you ready? Again, the feet, the footing, a little weird. All right, here we go. Now we're riding around. You can see me a little, and don't worry, I'll uh, turn the camera around so that you can actually see what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, it's it's a fun toy. I highly recommend playing with one if you get a chance. Now, they are kind of dangerous. <laughs> Which is why it's a... Uh, everyone has told me this is a bad idea. Yeah. Almost went off the, uh, the concrete there. Um, because you know I'm 41 and overweight. <laughs> so if I fall, I'm gonna fall hard. So you, you know, people have died on these, people have uh, broken bones, but you know what? It's a toy. And it's a lot of fun. I can't tell if you can see how much I'm smiling. I'm, I'm really enjoying playing around with, these th with this thing. I really want one, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn around the camera now. It's also a little difficult to operate the camera and do all of this while riding a one wheel. It gets a little, uh, should pay more attention to what I'm doing and where I'm going. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna get over here to the corner and turn around and I'm gonna try to get a, a higher speed run so you can see it and point it at my feet. So you can see how it gets a little squirrely. Ready? Ah. <laughs> I don't know if I caught that ending on the camera, but you know, it's, it's interesting. As you lean back to go to stop, it kind of peels out. So it's a little weird. I don't know. All right, let's get a couple more just riding around. All right, so get on it. Put your foot on the back. Your back foot always stays on. Don't take your back foot off. Your front foot is the one that you step up on. Get comfortable. Lean forward. Whoa. All right. That was my first real fuck up. And that's why I'm trying to, trying to do it while on camera. Put your back foot on it, put your front foot, 
lean forward, and you go. And when you're turning, it's all which direction you're going, how you're leaning. So if you lean back, you're going to lean left, go left. If you lean forward, you're going to go right. Again, operating the camera while doing this probably isn't the safest thing. Also, it's a little hard to concentrate on both, so forgive me if the camera work isn't great. This thing is so much fun, though. <laughs> I'm using every bit of this double basketball court that I have access to. <laughs> Now, I have not run out of power yet. I have no idea what happens if you run out of power. I am getting better at slowing down for cornering for tight corners and speeding up for straightaways, though. It's pretty rough on the feet, to be honest. Like, like I said earlier, I don't know if I'm using muscles that I don't normally use or what, but yeah, my, my feet kind of hurt from riding it. Also, going up and down hills is interesting because, um, again, it's, it's all about how you're leaning. So you lean up the hill to go up it, which, yeah, that's not too bad, but leaning down the hill to keep going is a little weird. And it is easier to turn left than it is right for me. I don't know if that's the same for everyone else, but. <laughs> There, I think I got that dismount actually on camera so you guys can actually see it. Now, would I buy one? If I had the money and I didn't need to buy anything else, yes, I would buy one. It is so much fun. Would I recommend other people buy them? Again, it's an expensive toy. If you can afford the expensive toy, you go right ahead. You do you, boo, all right? It is awesome. Do I think they're practical? No. Are they fun? Yes, a lot, a lot of fun. 
I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, you'll actually get to see some footage of my first real ride on it, which was Friday. This is Sunday, just so you guys know. And uh, I did ride a little bit yesterday, but I didn't film it, so, ooh, the light's going. <laughs> There you go, you can see me a little bit better. I did ride a little bit yesterday, but uh, I didn't film it. It was just kind of a quick back and forth down my road and back. Um, it is so much fun. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.